Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hi there. This is Dustin. What's up? Dustin's a bourbon guy. I'm here for this. Yep. He's here He's here for the brown drink and the bottles. He's the ear. I, I have some music understanding, so... True. Yeah. Way uh, more than I have. Yeah. So, uh, what we do here is we uh, listen to... Uh, country songs we've never heard that you tell us about that you tell us to listen to yeah um and we drink bourbon some of which we've had some of which we have not so speaking of bourbons this what one we got we, here we have not i've never had that so so we ask our viewers to uh suggest songs and bourbon right we do so keep suggesting them so we had uh, a viewer suggest jim beam now there I've had regular Jim Beam. Right. But we've never had this. So, and she didn't specify which one. So we'll give this one a shot. This is called Jim Beam Devil's Cut. Um, it is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And it sits at, uh, looks like, 90 proof. Okay. So uh, the label says something about this is for people who take their bourbon seriously. I don't know if that's us. <laughs> it's definitely you uh, and probably me. So it's definitely him. Come on. So, so I'm pretty sure. Yep. Is that a screw top? We got another screw top. BCR people, that can be a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Not always. It can be a bad. I know. I've got a really good screw top bourbon sitting on my shelf right now. So real quick, did I mention that this says it's made with the bourbon extracted from the barrel walls? You did not mention it. So I just took a sniff from the bottle. It smells like a tree? A, it smells like a barrel. Okay, that might be good. Maybe. Might be really good. Oh, here's my glass, sir. That's yeah, the well, important yeah. stuff. So as far as tunes, this is another one that you have requested. What do we got? Uh, Carrie Underwood before he cheats. Okay. I'm not sure I've ever heard any Carrie Underwood song, let alone this one. Was she the one that was on American Idol? I don't think so. I don't know though. I didn't follow American Idol. I can't remember. So I don't know. Here's your Devil's Cut. So that's interesting. That's a play on words. I just realized that. What? Devil's Cut. You know how is so bourbon? If you don't know anything about bourbon. Uh, if you yeah, the like, angel share exactly any any uh, any tour that you go on from a bourbon distillery you'll hear about the angel share it's how much bourbon leaves the barrel while it's aging evaporates right now we've got the devil's cut which I guess is what gets stuck in the oak that sounds right all right so we're about to experience some definitely some new bourbon and almost certainly some new carry underwood so let's go let's check it out Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We have violence against cars. This is unacceptable. Come on. I, actually, for a moment there, I thought that headlight was a 911 headlight. I was going to cry. <laughs> all, all right, let's back this up. <laughs> Go. Oh. I think it's a, it looks like a Dodge Ram that's getting beat up here. Let's, let's, let's get back to this. So sad. You're right. It's a ramp. Old baseball player. Right now, he's probably slow dancing with a bleach blonde tramp, and she's probably getting thirsty. Is he? Right now, he's probably buying her some fruity little drink, cause she can't shoot a whiskey. Man, she's got a boy. Right now, he's probably up behind her with a blue yeah. stick showing her Maybe next time I'll think before he cheats. 
Sing a song, a white trash version of Shania Carey, okay? <laughs> right now, she's probably saying I'm drunk and he's a thing and that's gonna get lucky. Right now, she's probably dabbing on three dollars worth of that bathroom polo. <laughs> an awesome song yeah but i got another comment about country music in general okay so we've heard country rock songs country blues we've heard country we just a couple of video ago or so we did a, a country blues right this country bluegrass fusion this to me which you're the music guy so you got to tell me if i'm off base here this to me sounds like the epitome of a country pop this is a pop song yeah, I, I think I agree. Um, just the way that the like the instrumentals are super far in the background, but yes. they're, they're mixed. So this, if you took out the slide guitars, yeah, um, took out the fiddles, okay, and Carrie changed the way she delivered it. Um, absolutely, could have been a Paula Abdul song from the nineties. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Right. All right. Janet Jackson, something so, like that. It's just, it's surprising to me how versatile, I, I'm going to use that word, versatile it's country a good music word. appears to be. It, that's a good word. They are incorporating in the country that we've heard so far, mm -hmm. which I think we're now up to like 18 or 19. Something like that. Country songs. Yeah. They, these artists have incorporated a lot of cool elements. Now I'm going to tell you, Carrie Underwood's got some pipes. I mean, that, that was awesome. That was a good song. It had a great story, and man, did she deliver it. When we come back to her, I really think for her, and maybe we should start to do this when we come back to artists, we need to check her out live. Yeah, that's always... So there are some bands, <coughs> Boston, <laughs> um, in the rock scene who did wonderfully engineered uh, studio albums and sounded like grade schoolers on stage live. So that was, it's disappointing when that happens. For sure. But I don't think we're going to get that with her. Something tells me we won't. No. She's got the pipes. I didn't hear, I think this is an older song. I didn't hear any auto-tune. You know, there's no not even chorus in the microphone, which can sometimes give you some uh, distortion and, and hide flaws. She didn't have any flaws in her voice at all. No. And Dude, the way she could... Play her voice. She yeah, she could belt it out. She could uh, put some growly distortion in there at the right times when she wanted to. It sounded good. That that I mean, was I'm a not good a song. big fan of pop. Yeah, I mean, never have been either, but I like that. That was good. Yeah, this this could be playing the list for me. Interesting, because you're 
Well, because you're a sucker for female vocalists, too. The good female sucker. vocals, I am just, I am. He's, he's right, I'm a sucker. Uh, and if you're a country fan, check out Heart on the rock scene. Um, so, Kermit? No, we're not going there, dude. Oh, not Hurt. Heart. Right. Okay, so, uh, want to bring this back up here? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a little surprised by the name on the bottle. Really? The Jim Beam part or the Devil's Cut? The Jim Beam part. I don't think in a million years I would guess this was Jim Beam if you blind tested me. You're probably right. And it's actually not bad. It's not terrible. I would say, you know, and maybe this could just be my taste. I really like barrel proofs, right? This is only 90 proof. The, the, the first hit taste I get is pretty weak. But the finish, and you're a sucker for finish too, by the way. I am. He's definitely a sucker for finish. Uh, it's got a great finish. It, I, so if you, a lot, of, a lot of bourbon drinkers, see, Dustin and I lean naturally towards very high proof bourbons. We want that, that initial, you know, vicious burn. You know, because the second sip's all flavor after that. Right. And barrel proofs have more flavor. It's, everything's more concentrated. If you're not one of those people and you prefer more normal barrel proof, or no, more normal proof between, say, 80 and 100. Yeah. This is, you're going to like this. This is good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm surprised. I think this is only like 22 bucks, too. That's a bargain. Um, hell, I might have to buy some now. This is his bottle. I might have to buy some. So do you get, so I think also for you specifically, <clears throat> I get cinnamon. There's definitely some cinnamon in there. I'm not really getting any pepper. No pepper. I don't taste any rye. Um, plenty of cinnamon, touch of caramel, and just a really good, slightly bitter finish. Okay. And, and I like that. The finish is what keeps me coming back to it. Like up front, to me, it's too sweet and it's too. It's not hot enough for you. Yeah. Yeah. Which a lot of people like that. I can go, I can deal with either. Um, I prefer barrel proofs. I'll tell you what, though, if this were the only bottle that you had at the cookout, you could get yourself in trouble. <laughs> That's true. Because it's smoother than it should be. It's definitely smooth. Yeah. yeah. You're not wrong. So, all right. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, um, Mash that like button, hit subscribe, we'll be doing more of these. Share it with your friends. Most important though, make sure you comment on the video. Tell us what we need to listen to next and, and tell us what to drink next. Yes, this was a this was a, a suggestion from a viewer. Keep and, them coming. And I'm glad you said, do you remember who did it? I don't remember her name. We need to go back and look it up and yep. thank her because this was a good call. I'll thank you in the comments. Yep, we'll find it. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, until next time. See you.